Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, I got a voicemail from this number about my Social Security, something wrong, fraudulent activity or something. Okay, so can I have your first name and your last name so that I can pull up your file? Yes, first name is Sparky, S-P-A-R-K-Y. S-P-A-R-K-Y, right? Right. Okay, and your last name? The Clown, D-A-C-L-O-W-N. Okay, so uh, what's your area zip code? My zip code, 315. Oh, zip code, 13118. 13118. 13118, right? That's it. Okay, so uh, just been hold, let me pull up your file, all right? Okay. Thanks for all in the line. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay, so, so here the reason you got a call from my department is because we have received a notice from the law enforcement agency to suspend your social security number as we have received suspicious trials under your name and under your social. So are you aware about it? Well, no, that's why I called. I don't know. I'm not aware of it. Okay, so do you want me to go ahead and read out the affidavit from which you can come to know about the case? Well, yeah, I'd like to know about it. I'd probably gonna see what okay, it was, okay. I, then I could do something about it. But if you don't tell me what it is, then I guess I can't do nothing. Okay, so, uh, so now before I go ahead and read, go, read out the legal charges against your name, can you please verify me your last four digits of your social security number? Yes, 1463. 1463, right? Yes. So, sir, here, uh, did you receive any phone call from your police department regarding about your social? My police department? Yes, did you receive any phone call from your police department regarding about your social? No, I will no. Okay, so in that case, can you please grab a pen and a paper so that I can give you some basic information about your case ID as well as my name and my badge ID number? Okay, I got it. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, write down my name. My name is Victoria Walker. Victoria yes. Walker. Yes, Walker. Okay. okay. And your case ID number is S as in Sam. Yeah. J as in J. J as in J. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Three four two five. Okay. Six nine. Oh. Okay. Okay. And my badge ID number is C as in California. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. F as in friend. F as in friend. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Eight five. Yep. Two five. Okay. Seven one. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Okay. So now, before I give you the information, I would like to notify you that the line on which we are talking has been recorded and monitored by the Federal Trade Commission. So make sure whatever you say or comment must be true. Who's Do not interrupt federal, me in between. The, the Federal Trade Commission. Yes. Okay. All right. That's okay. Good. So. Uh, make sure whatever you say or comment must be true and do not interrupt me in between while I'm giving the information. I'll give you a fair chance to speak once I'm done, all right? Yeah. Okay, so see here, the investigation started on your name and under your social security number. When we recovered an abandoned car on the short border of Texas and a model of car was Toyota Carolla with a license plate number PX2440. This car was on the street when the local reported the sheriff investigated on the car and they found some blood and drugs residue inside it, okay. which kept them completely in shock. Well, they Father were in shock. I'm shocked myself because uh, I'm in New York. I'm not in Texas, so that kind of shocks me that you're telling me about this. Yes. Yes. So further investigating about the car, they found that the car was rented on your name and under your social security number. There are two address linked to the title of vehicle. The first address is 4161 Valley Land, Asintex, 78758. The second address is 3678 Washburn Street, Houston, Texas, 78428. So, sir, here, do you know any of these two addresses? I, I know a guy in Houston. Houston? Yeah. But I, I don't live there. He does. The guy I used to work okay, with. So guy I used to work with lives out there. Okay. Uh, uh, Mickey the Mouse. Okay, so uh, now uh, the second address, what I'm talking about, was rated by the U.S. Marshal and State Rangers, but unfortunately there was no one at the residence. 
And Mickey. we have found five pounds of... Was it Mickey's house? Yes. No. The oh. second address, okay. which which I'm talking about, was raided by the U.S. Marshal and State Rangers. But unfortunately, there was no one at the residence, and we have found five pounds of cocaine, as well as we have we have recovered some paper related on the banking institution, like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, and many other different banks has been opened under your name and under your social. As so somebody, somebody, somebody left behind five pounds of cocaine and nobody was home. Is yeah. that right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so see here, the question arises when we investigate a father or those back in said men with the respective financial institutes, we have found more than thousands of dollars have been wired locally and internationally. This all seems completely suspicious because those transactions were made to the country trafficking countries like Mexico and Colombia. And uh, we have found two I, I would never transfer money there, no. No. Okay. Uh, so, here, uh, we I, have found two recipients. I, I, I've two sent countries. money to Poland before to my cousin Stash, but never anywhere else. No, uh, what Western I Western mean Union is, did. Uh, I mean, they, they charged quite a bit to Western Union, but he needed the money, so I sent it to him. Okay. He, he, well, he if works he, at the uh, Kobasa factory, and he doesn't make that much money, so I had to send him money. Had to go down to Western Union. Oh, it was a big fiasco. That's why I don't even like okay. wiring money. So that wasn't me. Okay. In Texas, that's for okay, sure. What, okay, so here, listen to me. Okay. What I mean is, we have found more than thousands of dollars have been wired locally yeah, that and internationally. A, no, that wasn't this me. This all seems completely... Yes, I know, I know. So uh, this all seems completely suspicious because those transactions were made to narcotic trafficking countries like Mexico and Colombia. No, I don't. I only, to I only sent money to Poland to cousin stash. Never anywhere else. Okay. okay so here uh, we have found two recipients in these two countries. The first is Julia Ramirez and the other is Marilo Gonzalez. So uh, have you heard of this name before? No. Nope. The only person I ever wired Julia money Ram to was my, my cousin Stasio Kozlowski in Poland. It was just outside of Krakow. And Julia and Marilo Gonzalez, you don't know? No, you know no, no. Stasio Kozlowski Stasio was the only one I sent money to. Okay, so all right, we completely understand your point okay. and the information. What we have received may not belong to you. Someone that assists you information, which is the biggest concern for us, and you might be the victim of identity theft. So do you understand what I'm trying to say? I think you're trying to say I'm the victim of identity theft. What'd you say? I said I think I'm a victim of identity theft. Yes. Huh. So do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, you're trying to say that there was a car that's not mine and there was five pounds of cocaine that isn't mine and uh, none of this yeah. is mine, so I don't know. How to okay, tell you so I now didn't the state. Okay. Okay. So, see now, uh, the state court has decided to suspend your social on immediate basis, and we have got three allegation charges against your name, which is money laundering, drug trafficking, theft by description. Now, basis of the allegation, we're going to suspend your social well, on you immediate can't basis. Do that. Oh. You can't suspend my social security. That's what I live on. See, that is what. That is why I'm trying to help you here out again. Okay? Okay, well, you don't suspend it then. That's how you can help me. Yes. No, but is, okay, listen to me. Okay. No, but of the allegation, we're going to suspend your social on a basis. I just said I don't, no, want, it, I don't want you to, to you. suspend it. I don't know. I don't want that. Okay. Okay, all right. Whatever sources which are linked with your social should be seized and confiscated and may be freezed by the law enforcement agency. So, so here, have you received any phone call from the IRS loan lending companies or offer you any credit card? Yeah, I got a call from the IRS. Okay, so uh, before we issue an arrest warrant against your social, let me go ahead and transfer this line to DEA, which means Drugs Enforcement Administration well, for your better concerns. Sorry? What have they got to do with it? They will help you out help and out. secure your social security number, okay? So, uh, let me go ahead and transfer the line to DA, which means Drugs Enforcement Administration for your better concern, all right? Okay, yeah, give me the them. Okay, okay, just be on hold, let me transfer this call, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, goodbye, Victoria.
Thanks for being your patience. Your line has been transferred to the senior DEA. This is Uttam Dilan here. How are you doing today, sir? Very good afternoon. Yep, good. I didn't catch your name. Can I have what, your... what was your name? My first name is Uttam. U as in unicorn, T as in tango, T as in tango, A as in apple, M as in mother, Uttam, and last name is Dalen. D as in delta, H as in Harry, I as in indigo, L as in Linda, L as in Linda, O as in Oscar, N as in Nancy. Uttam uh, Dillon. Okay, Uttam. Okay, Can I have your first and last name and the case ID? Yeah, first name is Sparky, S-P-A-R-K-Y, last name the clown, D-A-C-L-O-W-N. Okay. And what's your case ID? Uh, CF8525711. Now, Sparky has put information which I can see here in my system that your social security number has been charged with money laundering and drug trafficking that's at what this that, moment. That's what and Victoria I said. I don't, I don't understand right. any of this. I don't know how this could have happened. So did you understand the whole things from her or do you have any question yeah, on it? No, no. She told me everything that there was money wired to drug trafficking countries that I told her. The only place I ever wired money to was my cousin Stash in Poland. Because he works at the Kielbasa factory and he doesn't make that much money. So he's always asking me for money because I live here in the U.S. So. You know how those guys are. They, you know, relatives always want to borrow money and never pay you back. But that's it. I never wired any money to Colombia or Mexico. Okay. So we are not accusing you for any charges at this moment. Okay, Sparky, good. we are just informing you about this, that your social security number has been charged with money laundering and drug trafficking at this moment because whatever the things has been happening at this moment, it's only under your social security number so maybe you are a victim of identity theft that's or what something, that's what victoria said and i agreed with her i think i am i think i am i mean i'm 69 years old i what would i be doing with five pounds of cocaine that's the thing which we found from the houston taxes right so, so can I you let me know mr that, that, that have you ever huh? been in the state of Texas? no no i told her that I, I, i've never been to texas i've been to kansas where the skies okay. are not cloudy all day, but never has heard a discouraging word there either, but I've never been to Texas. Have you lost your identity, your wallet, or anything, your identity got nope, stolen I told, or something? Nope, I told Victoria all this. No, I didn't lose that. Have you ever done any online shopping, apply for a credit card or something? No, no, I don't do any of that stuff online. You have, Do you have a credit card or not? Yeah, I have a credit card. Okay. But I pay that by check. I don't pay anything. I don't do anything online. I don't trust the internet. Okay. And apart from you, who else have your personal social information at this moment, like your bank, your yeah. CPA, your employer, yeah. your friends, your yeah. family members, your colleagues, or anyone? Yeah, they all got it. They all got your information? Yeah. Okay. Do you have doubt on someone, like, who can misuse your information? Well, uh... Like I, I told Victoria, the only guy I know in Texas is Mickey the Mouse. So if Mickey, Sorry? I, but I don't know how he could have got my social security number. So I, he's the only guy I know lives in Texas. No, Sparky, can you let me know that there are more than 20 bank accounts has been currently active under your social security number. And each account has a different, different amount of money in it. So can you let me know that out of those 20, how many you are using on it? At this moment, so we can put a exemption on your bank account and rest of the bank account, we can put a freeze on it. I only got one bank I deal with. Uh, what is the name of the bank? Sperm Bank. Firm Bank, right? Yes. And you have check-in with them, you have saving, or yes. you have both? Both. Yes, I have both with them because I put some money in my savings and then I put some in my checking. I write checks out of my checking, but the savings I try to leave in there. Okay. Okay. And do you have like credit card with the same bank? Or yeah, I got a visa with them. I have a visa credit card with them. With the firm bank, right? Yes. And what is the available balance you have in your checking account at this moment? On oh, the checking, I got probably seven hundred. 
Yes. What about in the savings? Savings, I got probably two, 20, 2200 I try to build it up, but I never get to do it. But 2200 is probably close. And what is the total credit you have on your Visa credit card? 3000 The total credit? Yeah, 3000 and what is the available credit you have in it? Three thousand. How many times is it going to say three thousand? It's a total credit. Three thousand. I'm not talking about the total credit. What are you I'm talking about? I'm talking about the available. That's available what's credit available. Three thousand. It's a three thousand dollar card. It's got three thousand available. I, I. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay. Do you have any 401k, IRA, any CD, no, or anything like that? No, I ain't got none like of that, that shit. No, none of that shit. Okay. And do you have, like, an investment account? No, none of that shit either. And how much cash you have with you at this moment? Cash? I don't know. Probably yes. got a couple hundred bucks in my pocket. I don't know. Like how much, approx? 200. I like to keep it around 200. in case I ever go to the the clubs, you know, I like to make it rain, so I always make sure I got a lot of ones with me. Okay. So, this is the only banking information which you got under your name at this moment, that, that is correct? That's it. Now, Sparky, let me do one thing, let me go ahead and submit this information. If you're telling me that you are an innocent person in this case... I am telling you so, for, so, in order to talk to the courthouse in order to put an exemption on your bank accounts, you need to send a one picture of your photo ID, either if you can send us your driver picture of your driver license, either you can send any of your state IDs picture. It's going to be work so we can attach this information with the documentation and we can apply for a code that you are not that kind of person who did this, what kind but of someone have the access of your information. I don't know what kind of person you're talking about. You are not a, not a criminal person. That well, no, means. I'm not a criminal person. Okay, so do one thing. You can click a picture of your photo ID. And once you click it, let me know so I can give you the number of courthouse so you can send it to them. Okay, once you did it, once you click a picture, let me know. Okay. Okay. All right, just give me one moment. Okay, you ready? Ready for what? You can write down the number. Okay. Two o one. Yeah. Eight five six. Okay. Six o one nine. Okay. You need to click a clear picture of your photo ID, and you need to send me on this number on a normal tax. Okay. So once you're done with that, let me know. Okay. So we can make an application for you that you are not that kind of person. So. We are not supposed to freeze your bank account or anything like that, okay? Okay. okay. I appreciate it. It's going to take me a minute. I'm on the line with I'm, you. I'm not very good with this text and stuff. Not an issue. Let me, gu let me guide you then. Can you let me know like which kind of phone you are using at this moment? It's, it's Samsung. Android. It's iPhone. Okay. Now click a home button. Okay. Once you click the home button, after that you need are you able to see over there a symbol to tax, right? On right side of the bottom of the corner. No. Are you able to see anything? I don't see anything in the bottom corner. I don't know. I got kind of an old phone. Like, Sam it's Samsung, right? Yeah, but it's one of the old ones. It's not new and fancy. Okay. So over there you are able to see... You need to send me a text with your photo ID. Okay, let me see if I can Once figure you it out. I should be able to figure okay. it out. Did you send it? I think I did. Okay, let me check. You with me, Sparky? Yeah. Okay, give me one moment. Sparky, you just send it your name, your first name. I told you to send me a photo ID. I don't know how to do that part. Apparently, Sorry? I'm doing it wrong. I don't know how to... What did you say? I don't know how to, you know, make it so it'll go on there. 
Okay, well, uh, now what you are able to see on your screen at this moment? I, I see my phone screen and it says send a text, but it, there's nowhere to say add something to it. Over there, are you able to see the gallery option or a camera option? I have a camera. Or I got a camera, I guess, but I don't know how to use it. No. Okay, do one thing. Open a tax first. Okay, open the Open tax. up a tax. New tax. Yes. Okay, Did I you got open? that. Then I got to put your number in there. Two, I okay, got no need to put my number. Zero, no one. need to put my number on it. You are able to see on your okay, screen my number. There. Okay. Okay, click on it. Okay. Now, over there, are you able to see the plus op plus sign? I see an X. It's like an X, not a plus. You are not able to see the plus option. Okay, I got that there. And then plus. Okay, once you go to plus, over there you are able to see the your gallery photos. And you need to select a photo of your photo ID and send it to me. Okay, send. What you are sending to me? I said your photo ID. What I sent? I thought I did. You sent something else to me. I don't know. What is that? I don't know how to do this. So you are sending me a sticker or something? Huh? A sneaker? I... A sticker. No. Don't waste my time, Sparky. Either I'm gonna hang up right now. I don't have that much of time. Wait, near do I? I just sent, I sent you my ID. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I was talking to Autumn Dillon. Okay. And I got disconnected. I had to send him with something, a text with my picture, and somehow we got disconnected while I was doing it. You did not send me the picture. You did not send me your ID, ID picture. Yes, I did. But I, apparently I screwed it up. I don't know what I'm doing with this text and stuff. Can you help me? Yes, are you playing with me? No, honey. So, uh, and why did you, you send me those pictures? What pictures? I never sent any. I couldn't figure out how to do it. One of my DA sent you to pay, send, send you to tell me, uh, tell you to send ID picture, right? Yeah. Then I why sent don't him you all send? the pictures I had. I sent him all my pictures. I don't know what else he wants. Is that your ID picture? Yes. I'm Sparky the Clown. Hey, Mr. Sparky. Yeah. Do you think that you can fool me? Oh, come on, Sizzle. You know better than that. So what do you think there? You think I wasted enough of your time over there, you scammers? Okay, just go and fuck off, okay? Just go and fuck off your mama, okay? Hey, hey, don't talk to me like that, you rundy.